and welcome to Peterhead's Got Talent 2020. Unfortunately, due to the lockdown, we could not come live from the community theatre as usual. Tonight's concert is free to watch, but if you are feeling generous, you can always pop a pound or two into our PayPal account and help us pay for next year's Scottish Week. Next year, by the way, we're the big 6-0, 60 years of Scottish Week, and we plan something really special. You'll find details on our screen tonight, and also you'll find details on our Facebook page. Now it's time to chill and sit back and relax as we have 50 for you this evening, each hoping to win the title of the winner of Peter Head's Got Talents 2020 and the chance to win tonight's prize money, courtesy of our sponsors, Morrison Supermarket. Prizes tonight, first prize is £100, second place wins £50 and for third prize, you'll win £25. And later on, as a special treat, last year's winner, Hannah Brown, will perform for us on our pipes as the judges make up that very difficult decision. Are you excited? I know I certainly am. So without further ado, let me introduce you to the people here tonight who have the most difficult job. That's our judges. And tonight's judges are the store manager of Morrison's Peterhead and our very kind sponsors, Andy Morion. Good evening, Andy. Good evening. Looking forward to this evening. Good stuff. We've got local singer and pantomime dame, Katrina Mulver. Good evening, Katrina. Hello. I must say you're not looking pretty much like a pantomime dame tonight, I'm glad to say. No, I've stripped it back a little bit. Well, I say okay. stripped back, I'm like a drag queen. <laughs> <laughs> Good to have you here tonight. And also our genius, our media genius, making this all happen tonight is our third George from 316 Events, Alexander Dixon. Good evening, Alexander. Good evening, how are you doing? I'm very good. You looking forward to this? Absolutely. First time, no idea what to expect. Bring it on. Well, it's all technically challenging, I must admit. It's something that we've never done before, and I'm just delighted that we can have Peter Head's Got Talent 2020. So let's jump straight on with act number one. It's Grace Duncan. Grace is a sensitive and thoughtful girl who tries her hardest to make everyone smile. She's been working hard on her schoolwork during lockdown, which we're all pleased to hear, and as well as enjoying daily family walks, she's also had a, wee, a weekly Zoom music lesson and plays the guitar and the piano. Grace is 11 years old, and tonight she's going to sing Rush by Lewis Capaldi. Ladies and gents, Grace Duncan. Oh. 
song that was Grace Duncan wasn't that wasn't fantastic Katrina what did you think I thought she did an absolutely brilliant job well done Grace we round of applause for Grace this, this is uh, mini boss Helen um, I thought um, I thought that she put some amazing emotion into into our song and um, that tone of voice that she's got it's very sort of Lewis Capaldi I thought it worked perfectly great song who doesn't love Lewis Capaldi well done, loved it. Yeah, fantastic. Great starts to 2020's Peter Head's Got Talent. Thank you very much, Katrina. Uh, our act number one was Grace Duncan. Fabulous stuff. We'll move on to act number two tonight. It's Evie McRobbie. Evie is seven, but will be eight in a few weeks and has danced her way throughout the lockdown. Tonight, she is going to perform the Highland Dance for us. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Evie McRobbie. stuff. Evie McRobbie, she's seven years old. She's fabulous, don't you think, Andy Moyer? I thought she was very good indeed. Being a Highland lad myself, eh, very close to my heart, the Highland dancing. I thought she had great shape and her timing was very good and you could see her enthusiasm and energy just showing through there. Very, very good indeed. Absolutely. Yep. You're a Highland sure. loon, so could, could you manage to do a Highland fling like that, Andy? Well, I can tell you a story and it's a true story. I was doing it, we used to get it in school instead of sport. I broke my foot doing Highland dancing in school, so that's my experience of Highland dancing. <laughs> heel toe, heel toe, break. Heel toe, one, two, three, four. Yeah, we were all okay. the match. Andy Moore, thank you very much. That was act number two, Evie McRobbie, and on to act number three tonight. She's 13 years old. Caitlin has been spending her time in lockdown working hard on her schoolwork, walking and cycling. She's singing the classic. It's the colour of the winds from Pocahontas. Ladies and gentlemen, act number three tonight is Caitlin Foreman. Think you own whatever land you land on. The earth is just a dead thing you can claim. But I know every rock and tree and creature has a life, has a spirit, has a name. You think the only people who are people are the people who look and think like you. But if you walk the footsteps of a stranger, you'll learn things you never knew, you never knew. Have you ever heard the wolf cry to the blue corn? No. Or ask the good and bobcat why he grinned? Can you sing? Paint with all the colors of the wind. Can you paint with all the 
space with all the colors of the wind. Come run the hidden pine trails of the forest. Come taste the sun sweet berries of the earth. Come roll in all the riches all around you. And for once, never wonder what they're worth. The rainstorm and the river are my brothers. The heron and the altar are my friends. And we are all connected to each other. In a circle, in a hoop that never ends. Caitlin Foreman and singing from the film Pocahontas It's the Colour of the Winds I've never actually seen that film to be quite honest it's a, a new one for me uh, let's let's find out and see what our judges thought we'll ask Alexander Dixon Alexander are you, are you familiar with that movie? Oh I am actually a secret Disney fan yes no, I thought you would be asked to be quite honest with you Yes all that okay um, <laughs> that was a great choice of song for me I thought it really suited Caitlin's voice um, and it was a very clever use of video in the background as well, actually. So, a, an excellent job there, and well done, Caitlin, yeah. Absolutely, her background is even better than my one. Indeed. Absolutely, well done, Caitlin, and thank you very much indeed, Alexander. It's time to move on for our next contestant. Contestant number four tonight is Callum Gamick. Callum is 11 years old, and he's also been working hard on his schoolwork. Lots of kids working hard on their schoolwork. A lot of happy teachers, I'm guessing, out there. Uh, he's been reading lots of books and playing and chatting with his friends on the Xbox, making us laugh tonight. It gives me great pleasure. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, to introduce to you, Callum Gamick. I love sports. All kinds of sports. Sports can be fun and funny. What lights up a football stadium? A football match? What position does a ghost play in football? The gooey. What's a sheep's favourite sport? Badminton. I tried golf last week. I tried golf last week. I wore two trousers because I was sure I'd get a hole in one. Someone asked if I played off scratch. I said, I sure do. Every time I hit the ball, I scratch my head and wonder where it went. My doctor actually said I can't play golf. My caddy said, so he's played with you too then, eh? I'm not sure I'll try skydiving again. You want to know what the hardest part about skydiving is? The ground. I'm not sure I'll try baseball either. I kept on wondering why the ball kept on getting bigger and bigger. Then it hit me. I hate running. Running is hard. Yesterday my dad told me to go get some exercise. So I ran around the block three times. After that, I was exhausted. So I put the block back in my toy box. Thank you and good night. Thank you very much indeed. Colin Gamick. He's great, wasn't he? Uh, who will we ask here? Let's ask Katrina. Katrina, what do you think? Oh, Callum, well done. Listen, stand-up comedy is hands down the hardest thing to do on stage. I can guarantee you that. So well done for giving that a go. You had the jokes just firing off left, right and center there. Helen particularly liked the baseball one when it was coming closer. Well done, that's super, super brave to do. You've got a, you've got a career in that, I think. Well, look out for you in the future. 
Yeah, just a, just a line of one-liners, wouldn't it? It's a row of one-liners. Well done, Callum. Excellent stuff. Enjoyed that. Contestant number five tonight is Grace Johnston, or Johnston. Uh, you will not believe such a big voice comes out of such a small girl. Grace is 13 years old and enjoys cycling and jogging. Singing diamonds are forever. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's Grace Johnston. <laughs> Diamonds are forever They are all I need to please me They can stimulate and tease me They won't leave in the night I've no fear that they might desert me Diamonds are forever She's 13 years old, and I think Shirley Bassey would be a bit worried if she heard Grace tonight. So what do you think, Andy? Oh, what an opening. Uh, certainly set the tone for the song. Uh, and her calmness was just very good as well. She just looks like she was sitting to her, singing to her family in the front room. Really, really impressed with her. And you were right, such a powerful voice from one so small. Very, very good. What a voice. So, yes. Very good. Hard, hard, I mean, you judges are, are in for a really tough time tonight trying to... Well, the acts we've seen so far, goodness me, some fantastic acts so far. Um, we're on to act number... Uh, what's this? What are we on now? Let me see. Five. We're on to act number six now. Uh, and we're up next is Liam Keating. Liam is eight years old and started playing the chanter when he was five. He plays with the Buckin Development Pipe Band and he's been practic practicing his music during lockdown as well as his homeschooling. Ladies and gentlemen, on the backpipes, Liam Keating.
Quill, that's fantastic. Liam Keating, ladies and gents, when he said he was practicing his music, I really think he has been practicing his music, Alexander, hasn't he? Absolutely. For eight years old, that was excellent, wasn't it? That was very good. Um, I thought he was very smart as well, very well presented, and I thought that was just overall excellent. Good timing, good tunes, superb job. Absolutely. Love the bagpipes as well, and he made a cracking job of that. Thanks very much indeed, Alexander. Liam Keating then on the bagpipes. Contestant number seven is Amy Wilson. Amy is seven years old and has been spending lockdown raising over £300 for our NHS, doing over 700 cartwheels in seven days. I'm dizzy just thinking about that. That's amazing, isn't it? Singing Ariel's song from The Little Mermaid, Amy Wilson, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this stuff, isn't it neat? Wouldn't you think my collection's complete? Wouldn't you think I'm the girl, the girl who has everything? Look at this troll, treasures on hold. How many wonders can one cover hold? Looking around me, you think, sure, she's got everything. I've got gadgets and it smells of plenty. I got boots, it's a quartz, it's cool. Wilson, fantastic stuff, and I can just tell by looking at your face, Katrina, that you just loved that, didn't you? Oh, I'm away. She had me in tears. <laughs> Listen, any any performer knows that being able to sing is one thing, which she clearly can. But what she did there was had a whole performance. She had movement. She had acting. She was connecting with our audience, even though our audience right now is just a screen. Well done, Amy. That was absolutely beautiful. And also, go you for raising all that money. I loved that. Yeah, very good indeed. Amy Wilson was that. That was brilliant. Fantastic stuff. And thanks, Katrina. Uh, next up is Shane Keating. Shane loves playing the drums, piano and the ukulele. Shane has used lockdown to learn new tunes, creating his own YouTube channel. He's also a member of the Buckin Development Pike Band playing drums, playing the ukulele for us tonight though. Ladies and gents, boys and girls, it's Shane Keating. Thank you. 
and Shane Keating. That's fabulous on his ukulele. I don't know. The judges are going to have a terrible job trying to get with so much talent in Peterhead, isn't there, Andy Moyer? What do you think of Shane's performance? I thought Shane was excellent. I'm no expert in the ukulele, I'll admit, but I thought he was very good. And he's obviously a very talented musician, just watching him there. And he loves it. You can see he's enjoying himself playing it. It was a pleasure to watch it. My foot's still tapping. Very good. Yeah, absolutely. Love that. Well done, Shane. Thank you very much indeed, Andy. Shane Keating on his ukulele. Brilliant stuff. Next contestant is Rachel Haggart. Rachel is 13 and in lockdown, she's been practicing singing and her gymnastics. Singing Let Her Go by Passenger. Ladies and gents, boys and girls, it's Rachel Haggart.
Rachel Haggart singing Passenger and Let Her Go. Uh, let's speak to Alexander. What do you think? That is indeed a tune, isn't it? That it is a tune. Passenger is excellent. Yeah. I really like that song, and I think it takes an awful lot of guts to be able to get up and sing in front of others. I thought she did a really great job of that, and I really like the a cappella bit at the end, actually. Um, really strong finish there. It was indeed. Thanks very much indeed, Alexander. Rachel Haggart singing Passenger and Let Her Go. Fantastic stuff. Contestant 10 is Camille Masanasket. Camille is 14 years old and a freestyle disco dancer at Dance Joy Studios. During lockdown, she's been doing dancing every day and she says when she's dancing, she feels like she's in her own little world and blocks out all the bad stuff happening around us. Maybe I should take up dancing as well. Dancing makes her come alive and she doesn't know what she would do without dancing. And for us now, Camille is going to show us just exactly how she can dance. Camille. That was Camille Masanaskate, freestyle disco dancer. Uh, let's speak to Katrina. Well, I used to be a dancer myself, so I can speak with some authority on this one. And also our best friend of mine, um, she actually has a freestyle school, so I know a little a bit about the, the genre itself. Um, Camille, that was stunning. Um, I know that freestyle has evolved a lot over the years to be a lot more musical and about telling the story and there were some absolutely stunning moments there that when you were reaching out and you, you could clear that it was clear that you were telling a story there. Um, obviously your flexibility is fantastic but what really drew me to that performance was the story that you told and how you worked with the song itself. Well done, that was stunning. Thank you very much indeed Katrina, excellent stuff. Next up is Nicole Foreman. Nicole has been keeping herself busy by painting, walking, and going on bike rides. Singing Never Enough from The Greatest Showman. Ladies and gents, boys and girls, it's Nicole Foreman. Trying to hold my breath, let it stay this way. Can't let this moment end. You set off a dream in me, getting louder now. Can you hear it echoing? my hand will you share this with me cause darling without you all the shine of a thousand spotlights all the stars we steal from the nice guy who never
Well done, Nicole Foreman. And I, I, I did manage to not interrupt her. So I was thinking, should I could she finish? <laughs> but that was fabulous. Again, another little person with a huge voice, Katrina, wasn't it? Oh, she was just fantastic. Really, really good. Another one that sang her heart out there and also gave us a bit of a performance. I know firsthand that is a big old song. So hitting those notes, ah. uh, well, <laughs> um, I didn't quite manage to hit all them. Let's just say that. <laughs> so well done, oh, you. Absolutely. Nicole, Nicole certainly did fabulous stuff. And thanks, Katrina. That was excellent. Nicole Foreman from The Greatest Showman. Uh, contestant number 12 tonight is 16 years old and during lockdown has been spending most of her time dancing in the garden and outside for the NHS, uh, NHS club every week. She's a pupil from the Slessor School of Dance in Peterhead and dancing to some choreography tonight that she's made herself. I'll give you, ladies and gents, boys and girls, Stephanie Buchan. indeed contestant number 12 uh, Stephanie Buchan dancing for us brilliant as well and I think which judge shall we speak to if we're, if we're talking about dancing it's got to be Andy is it self-confessed Highland dancer Andy <laughs> uh, I thought she was really good it was kind of a modern take on Highland dancing I thought it was really good the way she started but very very good dancer indeed really thought that she was good What's yeah. it, Excellent. Yeah, absolutely. It's a difficult job, really difficult job. So much talent in the blue too. Uh, talking of which, it's up to the next contestant, which who is a young man who's 10 years old and has been singing throughout lockdown to keep everyone's spirits up. He's also known to tell a few jokes, but singing for us tonight, another favourite song of mine, here's George Ezra's Shotgun by Lewis Burnett. <laughs> Yeah, you spit. Time for 
Lewis Burnett, George Ezra should be worried, I reckon, and a bit of product placement for Levi's as well. Katrina, what do you think? <laughs> that was brilliant. Another little performer in the making. And do you know what the mark of a real professional is? It's when you find yourself making a tiny, he lost his timing a tiny bit there, but f- went back, got on track again, and carried on like nothing ever happened. That is a professional. Well done, well, Lewis. Absolutely, absolutely. I love that. Well done and thanks, Katrina. Excellent stuff. Uh, now, as a, now up as a uh, two sister, 110 and 18. During lockdown, Holly has made her own friend's Cluedo game and has been playing it with her friends. And Haley has been getting stuck into her schoolwork and organising a Zoom quiz for her cousins all by herself and presenting it on PowerPoint. Wow, talented folk. Playing the tenor drums for us tonight are Holly and Haley Brown. Fantastic. Certainly wasn't expect- expecting that from Holly and Haley Brown. Alexander, did it come as a shock to you as well? 
Yeah, I thought, Graham, that was a really clever use of video again. We've seen a lot of folk adapting this year because we can't be on the stage. And I thought that transition from playing the drums at the start to the light sticks. And uh, what I want to know is how they managed to change their clothes in a like that. Clever. Really clever. Well done, girls. What clever editor. Alexander, thank you very much. That was fabulous. Well, it's it's amazing how, how how quickly time has gone, but it's last, but by no means least. Tonight, we have Lauren Stephen. Lauren is 10 years old from Bodham. She's a freestyle dancer and dances at Dance Joy Studio in Peterhead. During lockdown, apart from doing homeschooling, she's been doing lots of things like walking around the village, playing outside and doing tricks on a trampoline. Dancing for you tonight, ladies and gents, boys and girls, our final act of Peterhead's Got Talent 2020. It's Lauren Stephen. That was Lauren Stephen. Well done, that was fabulous. Uh, I think we'll come and, and, and speak to Andy because he's already told us he's our, he's our dance expert. Andy, do you ever, ever have moves like that? Could you could you move like Lauren? No, in a word, no. When she's put uh, that leg up to touch her back. Oh. So there's, there's no truth then, that's when you get up to in the aisles of the supermarket when it's <laughs> No, not at the moment. <laughs> Uh, but no, I thought she was, her energy was amazing at the start and the change in pace, I liked it, just slowed down the music, but it still had the same energy in the dancing. Very, very good. She's obviously been very busy during lockdown, I think, as our Lauren. Very good. A lot of practicing going on there, Andy. Yeah. yeah. Th thanks very much indeed. Lauren Stephen was our final act. That's 15 acts in total. That's it. Easy decision, judges, you think? No. Absolutely not. No, I don't think so. Didn't think so. So that's it. That's our 15 acts. Certainly, thank you judges, it's certainly not an easy decision. I didn't think it would be. So to give you a wee bit of time to fight it out, to come up with the winners for this year, we're going to hear and see once again last year's winner. She was, of course, a fabulous piper. Put your hands together, ladies and gents, boys and girls, for the Peter Heads Got Talent 2019 winner. It's Hannah Brown.
That's absolutely fantastic. Hannah Brown was the winner of Peterhead's Got Talent 2019. Absolutely fabulous playing. Don't you think so, judges? You agree? Absolutely. Okay, can I ask you, how how you how you found it then, guys? Alexander, are you, what's your thoughts? Have you enjoyed it tonight? Well, it's the first time I've done anything like this, Graham. And yes, it's been really good. It's been really good to see all the, the young folk getting involved, actually. It's um, really encouraging to see all the, the talent that we've got in our town and it's something to be really proud of. It is indeed. Andy, is this, is this, I'm trying to think, were you here last year or is this No, your first, time? first time ever, uh, a newbie as well. I'm really impressed, really impressed. The creati- creativity of the children was excellent. Mm. The thought they're going into it, and it was obviously a lot of time spent going that, so really, really good, and it was a very tough decision. Well, I bet it was. Um, I certainly, I certainly wouldn't want to be one of the judges. Katrina, your thoughts, your final thoughts on tonight? Well, you're exactly right there. This has not been easy for us whatsoever. Every time I see any of the talent that's here in Peterhead, I am always astounded. I'm always impressed and proud to come from Peterhead myself. Um, as Alexander says, I've, I've never done this either before. Um, so most of us don't know any of the kids and have never seen anything that they've done before. So our decision tonight was based purely on what we saw. What we saw was amazing from everyone. So. Um, no thank you everyone for making it so <laughs> difficult it was a nightmare <laughs> I bet it was it, it, it always is to be honest we've had some talent tonight it has been exceptionally good can I thank you the judges I mean that's well done the judges because you've been, been a pleasure uh, it, it, it's an absolute must be an absolute nightmare to come up with three places so on behalf of Peter Head Scott Talent can I thank you very much indeed for giving your time tonight and uh, helping us along uh, the first place wins £100 check, second prize is £50 check, and third prize is £25. And it's all been kindly sponsored by Morrisons of Peterhead. Can I thank them as well for their sponsorship, their continued sponsorship? I, I, I forget how many years Morrisons has actually been involved in Peterhead's got talent, but it's a lot of years now. So thank you very much indeed to them for sponsoring tonight's event. Uh, can I ask as well, please, before we announce tonight's winners, can I ask you all at home uh, and all here who's been watching to put your hands together for all our artists tonight. As we have just heard from our judges, every single act this evening are worthy winners. Peter Head certainly has got some fabulous thoughts. Well done, everybody. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, once again, you've made Peter Head Scottish Week proud. Another great evening of local talent. So, it comes down to it now that we must find out who our winners are. As I said, no losers really, but we have three final places that we must announce and uh, to win those checks. I think, Katrina, have, have, you got the, have you got the paperwork for me? I do indeed, and I'm going to virtually hand it to you. Okay. The power <laughs> of media. <laughs> How's that? All right, look at that. Thank you very much indeed. <laughs> we have it here. So, it gives me great pleasure and announcing Peterhead Got Talent 2020's final three places. I can tell you that. In third place, winning a cheque for £25, it is Caitlin Foreman. Well done, Caitlin. Well done. In second place tonight, winning a cheque for £50, 
singing from The Little Mermaid, Amy Wilson. Well done, Amy. And Peterhead's Got Talent winner for 2020, winning a cheque for £100. It was our modern island dancer, Stephanie Buchan. Well done, Stephanie. Woo! Well done once again to all our contestants. Well done to our three finalists, Caitlin Foreman in third place, Pocahontas, Amy Wilson performing from The Little Mermaid, and in first place, the modern Highland dancer, Stephanie Buckin. Well done to all you girls. Well done. Congratulations to you all. Uh, thank you again for watching. It's a wee bit, it's been a strange one tonight. As I said, we spoke earlier that if you do want to try and help finance Peterhead Scottish Week, we head for our 60th anniversary next year. And you'll find the details on the screen here tonight. And you'll also find the details on our Facebook page. And you can maybe help, uh, maybe chuck a few quid in it and, and try and help build Peterhead Scottish Week's 60th anniversary next year. Thank you all very much indeed for watching. Thanks again to our judges. And we're going to play out tonight. We're going to see her dance one more time. Uh, Peterhead Scottish Week 2020, Peterhead's Got Talent winner is Stephanie Buchan.